guys, I'm gonna pull in here to Kenny Lake Mercantile, what we call the Merc. I wanna get some gas and I'll say hi to everybody. Maybe show you around, show you what all they have. It's a good little place, nice little convenience store for our community. Hey everybody, this is Andy. He's the son of the owners, and he's gonna to talk to us about everything that they offer here. Okay. Uh, here at the Kenlake Mercantile, we have the RV park that has 11 electric sites and nine dry sites that have no electricity. that has four hotel rooms, uh, showers, laundromat, uh, bathrooms that are available. Do we have a diner that is currently under, uh, that is closed out right now due to nobody being able to, wanting to work. Uh, but it's available for it is available for rent. For rent. Yes, sir. It's available. Come for in rent. and and start your own little restaurant business right here, and you'll make some good money. Yes. Uh, if I was able to work over there, I would jump at it instead of working over <laughs> right? here. I mean, I made more in tips over there than I almost make here per hour. Right. It was. I mean, it's just a good little spot. Uh, we have the gas station that sells uh, unleaded and diesel, and also propane. We offer air to air up your tires at no charge. Um, as you hear the beeping, I'm doing a gas sale right now. Yeah, and they're one of the cheapest places to get gas in the Copper Valley. So, you know, if you're coming to visit and you come through Copper Valley, this is a good place to, to plan on getting some gas. And how many, uh, do y'all do have tent camping sites? Yes, we have nine tent camping sites in the back. There's, there's no electric hookup but it, there is Wi-Fi available. Uh, we have a RV sewer dump and RV fill up on the property. It is not at the sites due to the fact of permafrost and freezing. There's also a gift shop that we have that is available for renting also. It's usually just about a 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 room that's with a toilet heater in it that you're able to do basically whatever you want in it. So y'all also have uh, business opportunities for people yes. who maybe want to get into starting their own business. Starting their own business, selling furs, their own furs and whatnot, uh, or knickknacks. Uh, we have a small display yeah. case over here of certain jewelries that people want to drop off and hold on a consignment type basis that are all Alaska made and mostly locally made. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just. I noticed something new, the little homemade, handmade slingshots yep. that or somebody local I know probably makes them. Yep. They're we cool. Make them, send them up here, put them out. Uh, we did have a furrier that came up here. Uh, I don't know what happened, if he decided to quit trapping or quit selling furs or whatnot, lesser bulk. 
but we had some furs that were up on the wall and it's signs saying do not touch the furs unless you're purchasing right. of course uh we got dip net for dip net season we got dip netters that come through we do not we do we no longer do the fishing or hunting licenses here okay because those are all done online right but we will print them out for you uh this way you can have a copy of it on hand when you go down to the lake or the river and, and go fishing just to help out with logistics on that aspect um but usually this is basically a one-stop shop yeah it is definitely a like a one-stop shop i know for us locals it definitely is it's, they're not not a grocery store no right? but but like more like a rural alaska convenience store right that's what this right. is it's a, a i equate this place to like a 7-eleven because everything is so usually sold in singles of course we have 12 packs the owners would like to help out the community as much as they can so they get little items we also will do a uh, pickup service, go into town if you have something that you want special from Costco, Walmart, J uh, Sears or whatever, they will make a special stop, you just tell them what it is and they'll put your name on it when they come bring it out, they'll tell you the price and it's, here it is. So if you're like visiting the Copper Valley, you come down to Kenny Lake and you happen to stop at the Mercantile and you need some supplies? They do have supplies, you know, like any convenience store, the candy's going to be right by the register, but they do have groceries, uh, you know, stuff. We got milk, eggs, anything like that you need. So if you need to stock up, y'all yep. have it. Y'all supply it. This place, they really thought of everyone, not just the community, not just the travelers, everyone. Yep. And we try and uh, keep the, the hometown vibe going come in there's coffee for sale uh coffee even, even a place to sit down and and talk to locals and find out more about the area yes and i've seen a lot of people come in here find out about different vehicles and whatnot for sale and be like oh yeah well talk to and be like oh yeah i'm right here and they just they start talking and they hash out a deal and go about their business yep and it's like I said, the small town coffee shop, yeah, convenience store, quick little get together, run into somebody that you may have not seen. People live out at McCarthy, you know, that don't really get out there in the winter. You, oh, this is where you will run into them. Yes. And um, if you did decide that you wanted to rent out the diner, there is one other place that I know of in Kenny Lake that is will be open in the summertime, and that is going to be the Golden Spruce right down the road right yeah. down the road and they sell subs so if you wanted to come in and do like a spaghetti nights or whatever yeah you'll you'll make money i guarantee yeah. you that much and how much are do y'all charge for showers showers here are six dollars a shower six dollars that's that is real cheap they provide the towels the and towels a floor towel floor uh, towel you have to provide your own soap of course showers are eight minutes long we provide a floor towel and a dry off towel and it is hot water the whole time uh, even with the laundromat going at full steam we will still have plenty of hot water for showers and there are a lot of people that will come from 50 miles away up in Glen Allen to use our laundry services and mm -hmm. showers because it is always clean and upkept and all the machines are on average working right now we do have one machine yeah, one down, down right but we're waiting is, on a part to come in we expect that in yeah. that line of business but yeah a lot of the people in the community this is where they come and wash their clothes not everybody has uh because we are rural and don't have water service um a lot of people don't have wells so right. they can't uh can't put washers and dryers in it's just the way it is sometimes so uh your rv spots how much do they run? Um, um, on average, the electric spot, electric site for RV, which is electric site all night, is forty-five dollars, and you get a uh, RV dump and an RV water fill. In it's all inclusive. Mm -hmm. But if you go into the dry site, which will still hold an RV trailer, you don't get the water fill up or the uh, or the RV dump. 
That that would be extra. And that, those yeah. are fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. That's that's very, very reasonable for Alaska. And it's you like I said, you'll still have Wi-Fi. There's burn pits that are there on the sites in the in the tent park in the tent sites where you can have fires. You have to get your own wood, of course. Uh, we also will sell. But they, they also do sell wood here. Bundles of wood that yeah. another gentleman, that, a, a that's local what, here, that supplies them with firewood that they can sell. Yes, sir. And just we try and keep everything local and up cup that way. All right. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Have a good See one. See you. Take care. Yes, I'm sir. glad y'all are here. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep. So that is our merch. And how you doing? Pretty good. How about you? I'm good. And that's where we do a lot of our shopping. Mostly we get gas here um, because we do buy a lot of stuff in bulk. But when we need something small, like I said, it's great that they offer what they offer for the locals, for travelers. Um, there is other places here which I'd like to get get more interviews with them for y'all so that y'all have a better idea of what is offered out here but also you know it's rural Alaska we don't have the stuff that you would find in a rural community in the lower 48 um, you know in a small rural community in the lower 48 you'll have like a 7-eleven or some convenience store where they offer a lot of stuff well this this is our equivalent to that and we're grateful that we have it so yeah i mean they do have everything that you can need you may have to go to the outhouse but if you ever wanted to use an alaskan outhouse this is a place to use it so we're gonna head back to the house and i got my gas i'm fueled up yeah, we're gonna go home now. So we'll see y'all later. Bye ya.